up guys so behind me right now i have a 2020 gr supra as you guys can tell this one is heavily modified and in case you're wondering why this is actually a sema car and the great thing about this being a sema car is that it's sponsored guess who is sponsored by it's sponsored by oracle and we love oracle here at premium so yeah, that's what we're gonna do we're gonna wrap the whole thing and we're gonna get to dismantling right now Next day, we're working on this Supra. Tyler took it apart with Jack. They stayed up pretty late, just taking the car apart, getting prepped up for me. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just laying this roof in gloss black. This Supra specifically is gonna be in the Orcal booth in the SEMA show. So keep an eye out for that if you guys go. This is gonna be a full Nardo Gray wrap and obviously Orcal that we got over there and we're doing a livery on it. It's gonna be a special livery. What I'm using right now is this special gloss black from Oracle. We're gonna be doing the roof in it along with the hood scoop and a couple inlays along the whole car. But yeah, there's gonna be me on this project for the meantime while David and Anthony, they took the day off, I think even Monday off, but it's all right. You know, I got CJ to help me, I got Tyler to help me. Daniel's here taking apart his Supra. It's a busy day, so I'm gonna just get cracking on this for the most part, and yeah, it's my day. Not to discredit the painter guy, but there's just a lot of like spent. Hey! Discredit the fucking painter guy! Alright, the painter guy did a mediocre job. Oh! And there's a lot of like paint specs and everything in this uh, hood, even like in these crevices right here. So it's gonna look terrible with the Orca wrap or in any wrap, honestly. But we're gonna get this hood. What is it called, Pat? We're gonna be filling little things and then color sanding it, and then it should be better. But for the meantime, uh, since we're not work up, we're not gonna work on the hood. I'm gonna just do the doors, side skirt, fender. There's a lot of things for me to wrap in the meantime. I'm just waiting for David to help me lay the quarters and like the trunk and everything because they're pretty hard, and I don't want to do it myself. Um, yeah, let David do the hard part. guys so we've been experiencing some trouble wrapping this car one of the big things about this project is it's gonna be showing at the SEMA car show which is a big um, big event I mean there's gonna be everybody's gonna be there in the industry and as always we want our work to be represented the best possible way um, when we're dealing with a car that's customized you never know how well it was customized until you get to times like this so right now we're working on the car we're wrapping the car uh, in its white form, in its white paint form, you really don't see how bad the paint actually is. But because this car was painted, it looks like they got a custom hood and they got some custom fenders and probably some custom bumper up there. The paint was blended towards the rear of the car onto the factory door and quarter panel. But what we're seeing is there's dust throughout the car um, that we actually can't get off it's within the clear coat. So if you look here, when you put vinyl on it, it actually amplifies how bad it actually looks over um, when it's just in this paint form. In the paint form, you really couldn't see it, but as soon as we applied vinyl to it, especially this gray, all of those imperfections are showing right through the vinyl. And one of the big things I'm stressing here is I don't want a car to go show at a car show like this, or any show for that matter, and not be 
100%. So what we've been doing is communicating with the customer, letting him know that we're experiencing problems with his paint job. The paint job was done at some point in the last couple months and it's not the greatest job, it's not the greatest work. It may have been a great paint job, but it wasn't finished properly, meaning color sand and buff was needed. And that's what we're seeing here. So we're gonna do our best to try to get the budget approved to just go through the car and, and do what we can and correct this paint before we wrap it. the next day at premium we're about to get started on the supra again so like i said we started wrapping it something came up we got um pat and zach working on the whip so they're wrapping it up right now i'm about to lay this trunk because they already prepped it out they already prepped it out for me but the goal today is to get daniel to work on it because he said he was going to work on it with me What's up guys, so next day back on the Supra. Um, if you guys are wondering why there's a jack over there, um, Tyler's actually removing uh, the wheel that's on that side because we have a new one right here. And the reason we have a new one is because that one is a little scratched. And obviously this is a SEMA car, so you know we want it to look as presentable as possible. So what we're gonna do is actually put this wheel, if you guys remember this wheel is actually from 2019 SEMA, um, when Daniel's car was at the SEMA show. This is, I think it's a, RSR, yeah, it's an RSR sports wheel, and we're gonna put it on that one so that we could take off the tire off of the scratched wheel and put that tire on the new wheel. So, yeah, right, Tyler? Right. right. back day two I'm wrapping this Supra as you can see I was able to wrap the whole side along with the trunk I didn't get to the hood as I wanted to I kind of waited for that guy over there I think his name is David <coughs> I was waiting for him to come back from his vacation to get this hood done because it is kind of hard with the with the orcal and I wasn't trying to waste material because wasting material is something we can't do on this project because we're limited
PC, I have no energy, and it's SEMA time, and it's not the not the best time to be during crunch time without energy. So I'm trying to get by, but I'm making it. We all right. Cal 970 RA. What can I say? I don't know because I didn't do the install. <laughs> David, and, David and Adrian took care of it. Um, they killed it. Looks really good. It's a brand new color from Orcal. Uh, it has that Nardo gray look. We mixed it up with some gloss black and complemented it with the carbon fiber that was already on the hood. As we talked about in the beginning of the video, um, the paint had some, it looks like the car was, well, when they put the carbon fiber hood on and the fenders, it looks like somebody blended the paint and they probably left or let dust get into the clear coat. So as we were wrapping, we were noticing there was a lot of like little bumps in, in, in the vinyl. It looked like there was dirt specks. So what we had to do was we had to actually remove a lot of the wrap that we initially did in the beginning and color sand the pieces. You can still see here on this bumper where we actually had to go in and color sand it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's white, so it's really hard to tell, but we ended up having to do full color sand on it uh, before we could wrap. And that was because there was dust in that clear coat when it was painted. So those are things you gotta look out for when your car it was recently painted or any type of overspray, dirt, dust, debris, all of those things affect the quality and the look of the wrap. So what we had to do here is we had to kind of pace ourselves, step back and fix all those things before we got it done. At this point now, the car is basically done, just got the front bumper to go. We have one day left before this car needs to be in Vegas for this uh, SEMA car show. There's still a lot to go because on top of this wrap, we're doing a livery with a big premium logo on the side. So I'm excited about that. Can't wait to get to that point. The guys are showing up now, so we're gonna get back on it and let's see where we go from here. 